It is time for our segment of Tammy's Tips. Joining us this morning is Tammy Hymas. Thank you so much for being here. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Great response. Well, today we have all kinds of fun colors, and with spring, people are going lighter, kind of like me, yes. all kinds of different <laughs> stuff. So we're going to go over highlighting and just not to freak out. Right? Exactly. <laughs> now, first things first, if you have ever colored your hair or have color on your hair, color will not lift color. Okay? So if you already have color on your hair and you want to go a lighter color, you can't do it. You have to use bleach. So that is a really important thing. A lot of people go, oh, I want to be brunette. Now I want to be blonde. There's steps that you have to take and now, to get that way. When people say bleach, sometimes it freaks a lot of people out. So what are some steps to remind people, to reassure them that it's okay to bleach every once in a while? Oh, it is okay to bleach. We're not using the stuff you use on your laundry detergent. <laughs> that stuff is not okay. Hydrogen peroxide, lemon juice, bad. <laughs> but hair bleach is actually chemically made to lift color out of hair. The problem is, is sometimes people go too far or they go, oh, I'm just going to keep going and that's when they get into trouble. But bleach is very safe for hair if you use it in the right circumstances. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. Um, hair goes through stages, okay? These are like your natural levels of hair and then these are the underlying pigment. And this is what's important when you're highlighting your hair, are these underlying pigments, okay? When your hair is dark like ours is naturally, mm -hmm. my roots are like a four or five, which is like a medium brown. So I have medium brown hair. When I remove the medium brown, the first colors that show are orange and gold. And orange and gold do not look good on me. <laughs> I'm a great blonde, but orange and gold is bad. So when you start highlighting highlighting your hair or giving your hair a color lift, you want to make sure that you get past the orange and gold and go to the light blonde. The light blonde is what's going to help your hair look beautiful and you just kind of have to keep hanging on. And a lot of people highlight their hair themselves. The best way to do it for yourself are with these caps. These caps <laughs> will make it so that you poke through the hole and you take hair through. Okay. Less is better. If you are going to start highlighting your hair, do a little bit first. You can always do more. But you, once you've bleached out your hair, then you just have bleached out hair and that's a problem. So take a little bit through at a time, go through every other hole and then use bleach and then just hang on, get through this ugly orange stage till we get to the blonde stage. Another thing I wanted to teach everybody is that a lot of times we color our hair and we're like, oh, I want to be a blonde and I'm kind of a mousy brown. Those go into great blondes. But you want to be really careful when you're going into the blonde that you can only lift four shades. Actually, in a box, it's about three shades. Really? So if you like the third shade lighter than your natural color, so you want to find this little boxy thing, what they have by the color aisles, make sure you match your hair and then know whatever it is, no matter how light they say it's going to go, you can only, only go, go about three, three or shades. four shades. Three, four now, max. how t long should you wait if you're then wanting to to go lighter to then recolor it a little bit more real fast to wrap up. Um, the best part is, is you want to give yourself hair about six weeks if you've gone really far. Now, if you haven't gotten to the color you need to go, get to where you're comfortable. You have to wear your hair. You have to feel fabulous. You have to be your own beautiful. But if you're not happy with your hair, sometimes it just makes us all like weigh down <laughs> yeah. and just not happy. So find yourself some fabulous shoes if you have bad hair. <laughs> Oh, make your toes great if your hair is bad. But give your hair about a six week break and if it's really bad and you can't fix it, please go to a licensed cosmetologist. That's what we're there for. We've been trained. We understand all the chemistry of hair and we can always help you. But I want you to be able to make yourself beautiful on your own. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us with all of these wonderful details. This will be on our website for additional information.